regarding to my research interest is some um, sustainable constructions at the top layer. As you can see, the sustainable construction, but I'm also focusing on um, a lot of um, green building and also life cycle analysis. And um, uh, today I actually want to focus a little bit on the research on my um, recycled concrete. As you can see, there's a lot of waste generated. How should we deal with it? So we store our waste, or wouldn't it be great if we can recycle our concrete waste? This is actually where I am from, and um, a lot of people looking at me that in Australia, actually there's not much uh, landfill issues. Why we need to recycle our waste? Actually, I started research on um, recycled concrete when I was in Hong Kong, when I was a Hong, uh, PhD student. You can see that Hong Kong is full of high rises, and a, a typical family of four probably is living in about 50 meters square house. And um, there's a, every inch is a spaces. And this is the reason that when we generate the waste, we should find a way to recycle it rather than just sending it to the landfill. That's how I start my research in um, recycled concrete. I look into um, the directions of recycled concrete in a different angles because there's a lot of people that why they don't want to recycle or they cannot continue to do research on recycled materials. It's like, um, as, as Julie said, most of the time that using recycled materials, the products are poor quality. And it's very hard to improve it. When you improve the technologies, they may have some cost involvement as well. At the end, in the implementation process, it still be very hard. But looking at here, that is the black dots that normally people are looking at. But I'm looking at actually the white circle around the background. That actually there's still a lot of opportunities that we should focus on. Only in the Australian data that in um, waste, we are generating 27 million of waste. And uh, with the Australian populations, in general, we are actually producing about 1 million tons of waste per person. Out of that, 20 million tons are actually construction and demolition waste. There are about 85% of the waste are actually masonry waste. And we actually rec recycle less than 10% of it. Why there are so limited recycling um, products in the market? First, focusing on the recycled concrete for um, this presentation. Why they are not using it for structural applications? Mainly because they are weak first. Where is it weak at? It's weak at the old cement mortar attached to the old virgin aggregates. And also, there are possibly there are some pre credit aggregates. And um, we have some poor interfacial transition zone, which is between cement paste and the virgin, and, and the virgin aggregate. And uh, most of the time, they also have poor grading, poor porosity, and also low density, and due to high water absorptions. If we want to recycle the products as structural applications or basically any applications that you wish to use, there are several elements that we should look into. First, is it suitable physical and mechanical properties? Are the strengths, do, is it enough or is it doable? And also, is there any real world practicability? Can they actually practically using it? And is it cost efficiency? Looking into the top part, that shows how recycled aggregate look like. They actually involve with old aggregate, and um, they have the old cement motor attached as well, which are from the damaged concrete waste. There's a different approach that we can actually improve the recycled aggregate. We can either remove the cement motor, go to the left-hand side, or improving the old cement motor. Um, there's a lot of countries actually focusing on removing the old cement motor such as mechanical crushing process, Japan done a lot. Um, using microwave, Singapore done a lot. Heat treatment, acidic solutions or others. But the problem is, if they remove the cement motors, which will improve the strength of the recycled aggregate because they actually become a virgin aggregate, similar as that property is. But the problem is, where does the old cement motor go? It generates other process of waste. Which is the reason I like to focus on the right hand side is to improve the old cement motors. Um, during my PhD study about 20 years ago, I developed something called two stage mixing approach. 
and basically it's just change the process of when you're mixing. In general, when you mix concrete, you know that the ingredient is like sand, aggregates, water, that kind of thing, and you put everything together. But the two-stage mixing approach, basically, you just separate into two pauses. Then when you add um, the aggregate first, and then add half of the water first, and then you mix it and put the other ingredients on to mix the second time. That is the two-stage mixing approach. But this particular presentation I want to focus on is the carbon conditioning. What is exactly um, carbon conditioning doing? Uh, basically, it's like a um, carbonation chamber. The right-hand side one is what I have in the laboratories at the moment. It's just a very small um, container or chamber and attached with a um, carbon dioxide. What we do is we actually um, put the aggregates inside the chamber and then we carbonate it. And uh, this actually benefits the environment in two main approach because we are using the carbon dioxide for recycled aggregate that means we actually reuse the carbon dioxide because otherwise it will increase our greenhouse gas emissions and also affecting the global warming issues. In, rather than, uh, in addition to reusing the carbon dioxide, we're also reusing the recycled aggregate. That's why we're actually reducing our landfills issues. This actually brings very direct benefits to the concrete breaching plants. Um, we have done different kind of properties these are all the major physical and mechanical properties, including slums, compressive strings, different kind of strings, compressive strings, tensile strings, and fragile strings, and all modules of elasticity. But we also look into the durability performance on string cage and um, permeability. And um, we also look into some chemical analysis. In general, as I said, there are, this is the how recycled um, concrete look like, recycled aggregate look like, you can see that they have some original aggregate, which is the virgin aggregate, but they also have a lot of old cement motor attached. What this CO2 concrete is aiming to is to improving the weak process, the weak cement motor attached by injecting the carbon dioxide in. With the chemical reaction, actually, they make that old cement motor become stronger. And that makes also the recycled aggregate stronger as well. And just continue with the original process to produce the recycled concrete. Not only about as simple as we, we using the um, uh, recycled aggregate, but we also look into some optimized process. Because we have different components when we're doing mixing concrete. We're improving the aggregates, that's obviously good, but also we try to look into what other components that we can increase, improve as well. That's why we look into um, the components of um, the pressure and duration and the replacement percentage and also mixed proportions. And then going through the optimization process to help to find a desirable concrete performance as you wish. We actually already developed a uh, model to improve the um, uh, the, the optimization process and also aiming to improve the concrete performance based on what the requirement. And uh, you can see the models actually allow you to in input any components that you wish. Maybe you particularly want to focus on reusing 100% of the aggregate, then you can type the 100 there. You can leave the other empties or you have some other constraint, you just put those in. Maybe you want the water cement ratio a little bit higher to make the workability better, then you can put those in and the outcomes will be able to generate it as a, um, a few suggestions for what the desirable requirement, like if you want to achieve certain concrete strings, they will show you what is the mixed proportions that required as well. What we have done so far, in general, if you are talking about virgin concrete, which is the top, the left hand side, it's about 300 Australian dollars per meter crib. If you purely replacing the recycled aggregate to virgin aggregate, which is much cheaper due to recycled on aggregate is normally about half price of the virgin aggregate. That's why I bring the recycled concrete about $256 per meter cube. But the problem is it will also have about 29% reductions, so 30% reduction of the strength. With this CO2 concrete, we actually can improve, we already have the matching strength with the virgin concrete, with the recycled, with the CO2 concrete, not only about the strength already match, but also the cost. You can see that it's about 10% reductions of the cost. 
which is actually a way clear improvement. Until that stage, we actually look into is a research project. But have you think about that research projects can also go into commercializations and also can make real impacts to the environment, economy and society? Last, um, this project actually started about March 2015. Um, I was uh, approached by an undergraduate student who wanted to continue the research of my, basically my PhD original interest of recycled concrete. And um, that's we start doing some basic research. After two years, last year, March, we actually got selected as one of the top eight research teams by Innovise, which is um, based in Adelaide. And uh, joining it with also with the support of the green industry, uh, South Australia, that uh, to join into our waste and recycling technologies programs, which is actually with 1.5 million supported by the green, and in green industries. What is that nine months process that Innova is teaching us? They are not teaching us the technologies. They have no idea about technologies, but they're helping us how to do commercializations. The nine month process actually separating into three main terms. They actually trying to help us to understand and validate the technologies and then defining what commercialization opportunities can go with these particular um, technologies. And then the term, th term three, the last three months, we're actually looking into what's the investment strategies and uh, helping us to raise some um, capital as well. And um, this year, January, we're actually uh, using these products to open a company. Uh, it's called EcoBond Property Limited. And um, this year, March, we actually have uh, had a pitch at uh, ANZ, ANX um, in Sydney and, um, to look for investors. And um, with the support of Western Sydney University, we also uh, made the first CO2 concrete, which is a biosecurity platform at this stage. It's not very big, it's just like a this size, but the concrete is um, made by CO2 concrete. What is this one for is because we, uh, in Western Sydney University, we have a farm in one of our 10 campus. And um, that campus has a lot of different, um, it's a farm, and that's why they need to clean your shoes entering the farm and leaving the farm. This is actually for cleaning your boots to avoid bacteria and also insects to go in and out of the farm. And um, we are also currently upgrading the chamber at the moment to upgrading, because you saw us, it's like a little chamber at this stage. At the moment, we are upgrading the chambers to eight times of the size <coughs> to, uh, to, to able to produce enough aggregates for one concrete mixes. And um, as Julie said, we actually going to a stage for labs to slabs, sorry, labs to slabs. And um, at the moment, I think next month, when I, when I back to uh, Australia next month, we are going to pour four slabs of three meters by three meters, which is using also for the farm, is to put it under the cow drinking stations. I don't know whether you know how cow drinking stations look like. It's basically just a, like a long, they call trowel. And um, because at the moment, that cow drinking station is only putting on top of the grass and uh, in the farm. And the cow is just go there, drink water, and they always make a mess. And that's why they don't like the idea. That's why they want to put a slabs underneath. And that's why we want to um, we'll produce the four slabs for this purpose. And uh, at the end, the cow will step on the slabs and then drink the water. Uh, at most, we can actually put five to six cows on that slabs. That means we will have about six tons of weight to have a weight test of the CO2 concrete that we are invented. And um, hopefully it will be um, all good. And uh, we are currently uh, also doing a monthly checkup on this particular biosecurity platform, or we call it as a food bath. And, um, and also the same thing for the future slabs as well. Uh, these are some um, fat sheets that we, are, we have been producing. As you can see, this is the, just, to put, just to confirm about the strength improvement and the cost reductions. And this is talking about the world CO2 the very first CO2 concrete that we have been um, developed. And um, with the support of um, Green Industry South Australia, they also help us to uh, develop a video based on the technologies to provide a quick pitch in, um, in a few minutes to highlight what have we achieved. Yeah. 
and CO2 concrete, which is injecting carbon dioxide into recycled aggregate to produce recycled concrete. CO2 concrete is not only environmentally friendly, but also cost effective. CO2 concrete alone is not new, but the optimized CO2 concrete with the mixed design, new mix design we have, is actually new. CO2 concrete is all about the future as we are generating waste and CO2 into the atmosphere. And we could be used CO2 and waste, combine them together to make CO2 concrete. So our motivation is based on the reuse of waste and the reuse of the massive amount of CO2 in our atmosphere. Normally, recycled concrete is about 30% strength reduction compared to the virgin concrete. But by developing this CO2 concrete, we have already matched the strength and also have about 10% cost reductions. The collaboration with Innovise has given us the opportunity to introduce our CO2 concrete to the industry. And that is a significant step towards the commercialization of CO2 concrete. Um, you can actually find more information on our web page and uh, this is also my uh, email address um, for the company as well. And um, at the end we have to um, thanks for the sponsors which is Innovise or Western Sydney University. And uh, we are currently still looking for investors and see um, if there are opportunities in Korea that we are happy to uh, discuss with you further as well. And thank you. Kamsamida.